Okay, so now in this video we will be giving damage to the surrounding objects and also we will be adding the explosion effect to our grenade. So for the explosion effect we will be using this free package by Unity Technologies which is by the name of Unity Particle Pack. You can buy this for free on the Unity Asset Store so go ahead and search for it and then add this to your asset and after doing that it will give you this open in unity button okay so if you click on it then click on open unity editor as you can see it is now fetching the asset so let's just wait for it as you can see this is the asset so what we will do we'll click on download and as you can see it is downloaded I mean downloading so just wait for it so once it is downloaded click on import if it gives you this warning then just simply click on import and let's just click on install and upgrade okay now as you can see it shows right here in the console that packages were changed and now it is importing the package so let's just wait for it Okay, so now we have this window in which we have all of the effects. Let me click on import. And as you can see it is imported. But if you notice the environment as you can see the colors inside the environment is changed. Okay, this is due to the installation of some new dependencies in our game. Okay as you can see everything is changed but as you can see it looks I mean good like this okay so we will just leave this as it is but if you don't like it like this then just don't install the packages which comes with this particle pack okay so now if we click on this effect examples right here we have fire and explosion and in here we have this explosion effect prefabs okay so if you notice this one okay as you can see it was showing that blue tiles but now as you can see it is fixed okay automatically so as you can see this is the effect so if you want you can add this effect as well okay and you can check the other different effects as well for example this one okay this is the dust explosion so you can add different effects okay but I will just add this first one which is this big explosion okay so now we have the effect right here and as I told you we will be giving damages to the surrounding objects as well so for that first of all we need to create another script so let's just create that inside the player controller let's create new c-sharp script by the name of object okay and you can add this script to this table these boxes and to whatever objects you want okay to which you want to give damage so let me open it first of all and right here let's remove the start and update method or function and at the top let's create a public float by the name of object health okay and this will be by default equals to 120 okay then let's create a new method it will be public and its name will be object hit damage okay this will take a parameter by the name of amount and in here we will decrease this object health okay so to this amount parameter right here we will be passing a value from this grenade script okay and for example if this grenade gives a damage of 120 then that 120 will be passed from this grenade script to this and then you will know that this amount is 120 so we want to decrease this object health according to that amount so what we will say we will say object health minus equals to amount okay 
and then we will say that if the object health is less than or equals to zero then we will simply destroy the object okay so we can create a method by the name of destroy object okay but let me call it right here and then let's create it in here we will say destroy game object okay and that is it for this object script now let's get back to the grenade script and at the top let's create a public float by the name of give damage and this grenade will give a damage of 120 F okay and then we want to pass this give damage to this amount okay as I told you and also we want to add the explosion effect so as you know that we have now the explosion effect so let's create a reference for it right here we will say public game object and let's name this x explosion effect then right here we will remove this debug.log now and first of all we will show the effect and after the effect we will get the nearby objects okay and give damage to that objects okay so let's start from the effect so for the effect we will say instant create or instantiate we will instantiate the explosion effect so we will say explosion effect then to where we want to show this explosion effect we want to show this explosion effect around the grenade and as you know that this grenade script is attached to the grenade game object so in this case we will just simply use transform dot position okay and we will also use transform dot rotation then we need to get the nearby objects so what we will do first of all we will get back to unity and right here for example if you want to give damage to this table so we will select this table and as you can see to this table we have attached the box collider okay and let's attach the script as well the object script okay and as you can see it is not showing the health and this is because due to this error so what we will do we will change this O to capital because this should the O should be capital in game object then if you get back okay now as you can see it is showing the health and the error is gone so now what we will do for example if the grenade falls in this area okay right here on the ground then we will give a radius to this grenade and whatever objects are inside that radius we will check that if that objects contain the object script okay so if it contain the script we will give damage or you can say we will reduce the health okay like this according to the give damage of this grenade okay so now right here first of all let's create a public float by the name of radius and radius will be equals to 10f for now then in the get nearby objects we will create a collider type array by the name of colliders and this will be equals to physics dot overlap sphere okay as I told you we will be giving radius to this grenade okay so for giving radius we use physics dot overlap sphere this will basically create a sphere around the grenade so now where we want to create this sphere of course near the grenade so we will use transform dot position 
okay and then we want to give a value to the sphere that how big the sphere will be and that value will be the radius okay then we will use a for each loop and in here we will say collider let's name this as nearby object in the collection will be this colliders okay now right here first of all we will add a force to the objects okay for example if this grenade explode then we want the objects near it to fly away okay because that what explosion do it just throw all of the objects near it far away okay we will be adding force to this grenade and then we will give damage so now as I told you in this video we will be just adding damage so for adding the damage what we will do now we will say that object obj equals to nearby objects dot get component we want to get the object component okay or you can say the object script so we will say object and that is it what this will do that in the nearby object collection it will check for this or you can say search for the object script okay inside this radius so now we will say that if there is something or some object with which contain this object script then we want to give damage to it so we will say if obj is not equals to null okay then what we will do we will say obj dot now on the objects we have this object head damage so we will say obj dot object head damage and as you know that this requires a amount so to the amount we will pass the give damage okay so we will say give damage and that will be it so now in short what this will do first of all we are getting the nearby objects okay right here so for that what we did we create a sphere around the grenade and then inside that sphere we check for the colliders and then we say that if any of object which is inside this radius or you can say sphere contain the object script okay then what we will do we will say that if it contain the script then we will simply give damage to the object okay so now give damage is 120 so this 120 will be passed to this amount and then according to the amount we will cut that from the object health so as you can see the give damage is 120 and the object health is 120 as well so if the grenade explode near the object it will basically just vanish the game object okay and also it will show the effect as well so if you simply save the script get back to unity let's play the game now you will notice that when the explosion happens this table will just vanish okay as you can see now it gives this error instead of doing what we expected is because we didn't edit the explosion effect right here okay so if you go inside effect examples then fire and explosion prefab let's drag and drop this blink explosion in there that is it now let's play the game again and you will notice when the grenade hits the ground as you can see the table is being destroyed but you will notice that the grenade explosion is happening again and again this is not due to our code this is due to this effect and in order to fix this if we click on this explosion okay actually double click on it in here select the main e big explosion game object okay and right here remove this looping from here okay once you remove looping then let's click on the light from the light remove looping 
then from the ember remove looping okay and then from this one remove looping and then remove looping from all of these okay or as you can see to that the looping is already off if we click on smoke tail let's remove looping and that is it okay then let's get back right here now if we play the game again you will notice that now the explosion will happen only once because we now remove looping as you can see okay the smokes are coming out of this still okay so let me open this up okay looping is removed but it still have this smoke and the reason behind this if we click on this debris we didn't remove the looping from there so remove looping from the debris as well now let's play it again and as you can see now the explosion happens just once okay and also we want that when the explosion happens we want to just simply remove this grenade from the surface as well okay so in order to do that first of all inside the player model or actually let's create a new folder let's name this folder as prefabs and in here let me create a prefab of this grenade okay like this and that is it and then right here outside this for each loop we will simply say destroy game object so now when the explosion happens the grenade and the explosion effect both will be just disappeared like that as you can see so now this is working perfectly fine now in the next video we will continue our work on this grenade